प्रणाम सर आई एम राम सुरेंद्र सिंह रिसर्च स्कॉलर फ्रॉम मैथमेटिक्स डिपार्टमेंट सर सर लाइक नाउ वी ऑल आर हियर लाइक वी ऑल आर डीलिंग ऑन लाइक अ फिजिकल मैटर हियर बट लाइक इफ वी सी लाइक पीरियडिक टेबल केमिस्ट्री पीरियडिक टेबल सो ऑल द एलिमेंट्स इन देयर एंड इफ समन नो लाइक हाउ टू प्ले विद दैट एलिमेंट दे कैन ऑल क्रिएट लाइक द होल यूनिवर्स इन दैट जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ सम एडिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड सम लेस इलेक्ट्रॉन इन दैट प्रेजेंट एवरी थिंग इज सेम सर इफ यू गो लाइक ऑन बिलो दैट दैन इट इज लाइक एवरी थिंग इज प्रोटोन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड न्यूट्रॉन एंड अगेन वी गो डाउन से इट्स लाइक क्वार्क सो यू आर ऑल्सो लाइक अ क्वार्क आई वी आर ऑल्सो लाइक अ क्वार्क एवरी वन इज क्वार सम विथ पॉजिटिव चार्ज और सम चार्ज इज डिफरेंट देन वाई लाइक इफ एवरी थिंग इज सेम देन वाई वी हैव लाइक अ हेड ट्रेड एंड जेलिसी एंड ईगो एमोंग अवर सेल्स ओनली and the position authority we they are biased towards some kinds of people so why it is like that if everything is one then why it wonderful see there is somebody who is the quark right the quark itself is not the quark does a quark ever say i am a quark does an electron or a proton ever declare its identity ever heard protons neutrons or electrons shouting i am e n or p or an electron saying i want to progress in life by jumping to a higher orbital hmm s is not good enough so d p f ever found an ambitious electron in life no that's where that particular one comes in who says i am the electron this iness is missing in the objective universe as you see it this is a table the table never says i am a table but then there is somebody somebody like me or you who says i am the owner of the table now the table has an active identity now there is somebody who is identified with the table so while objectively as you see it it might be true that uh, each of us is uh, just the elemental particles or waves but then where is consciousness in this statement what is consciousness that which declares iness i i i right so you said if we all are same in terms of our elemental fundamental constitution then why do we fight with each other why is there strife or hatred or differences because the one who is the quark is not satisfied being the quark you are somebody are you okay with being what you are right now no you are not okay he is somebody she is somebody none of us are contented we are identified with something material like the quark or the table or the bmw car they are all belong to the same dimension in terms of their materiality right we are identified with something i am a man i am a woman i am a student i am a topper i am a laggard i am rich i am poor i am handsome i am short i am knowledgeable i am a seeker i am a good sports person irrespective of what you say about yourself including i am a quark you are not all right being what you are you declare you are a billionaire does that satisfy you fully that does not or you could turn very knowledgeable and declare i am a quark does even that satisfy you fully it does not so we are not happy being what we are we want to be something else we do not know what we should become so that we can be happy and satisfied right each of us is trying to become something each of us is trying to become something nobody is stable contented relaxed retired absolutely at peace being where he or she is so there is that constant inner dissatisfaction and lack of fulfillment we want to be somewhere we try hard to be there and we find that our 
efforts are going fruitless so there then is frustration within then there is somebody else sitting next to me this person too is an object that can be potentially used by me so that i become somebody else right for example you are a boy and a, and a girl is sitting next to you how do you become a boyfriend from a boy you are a mere boy and there is a girl sitting next to you how now do you become the important word is becoming now how do you become a boyfriend from a mere boy for this you will have to use the object sitting next to you the girl once the girl agrees you find you have graduated to being a boyfriend from just being a boy so now you have to use that object next to you that object is a conscious being that object has some will of her own but for you to satisfy your urge to become somebody else you'll have to use her and objectify her and she may not want that and then there is conflict are you getting it let's say all of you are participating in some kind of quiz contest here and there is a trophy to be taken let's say this is the trophy this says i am hamdavad written on it right so not too bad as a trophy hmm and this is waiting here to be captured and taken home all of you think that if you become note the word become all of you think that if you become the holder of this trophy that will give you satisfaction that's how it happens no but can all of you become the owner of this trophy no one of you will take it home and the others will you know probably smolder inside so then there is conflict becoming therefore you see begets conflicts in a lot of ways whatever you are currently since that is not sufficient so you want to become somebody else and the entire process of becoming is a process of conflict unfortunately instead of understanding where we stand our education system our social system the entire culture gives a lot of importance to becoming which is a game of ambition so all of us want to reach somewhere no you have targets in life and you are hustlers you want to be quickly reach there is that not what we want there is a place and if it is to be reached i better reach there fast now i do not know where i am standing how do i know where i need to reach is is that logical enough and if you do not know where to reach how do you know the path to take when you want to reach somewhere and you set your gps it asks for two things what are the two things it asks for it asks for the place you want to go to and also there is something called your location remember that remember that in the maps app your location if you do not know your location can any map in the world help you when it comes to your physical location the satellite suffices the satellite will tell you what your location is even if you do not know but when it comes to your mental station where you are as an individual here inside no gps or app or satellite can help you that you have to know and only when you know where you are then you can know where you need to reach is this getting too heavy or too fast for you do you see how we are going we all are carrying identities and each of these identities comes from identification with a certain object right so when you say for example you are a boy what is the object you are identified with the male body since you say i am the male body so you entitle yourself to say i am a boy right when you say i am rich for example there is some object you are identified with what is that object money hmm tell me of something else give me an identity statement give me an identity statement please okay. i am a hindu there is something objective you are identified with in religion there are books there are practices there are beliefs 
all these are objects you understand an object anything worldly that you can talk of is called an object that's the definition so any identity statement involves deep association with an object and that's the reason why the entire world is running after objects that's why there is so much crowd in shopping malls because they carry a lot of lucrative objects and we are hungry inside not physically but mentally we need something to associate ourselves with something so lovable that it will give us a final satisfaction nothing gives that to us so we continue to run without ever coming to a halt and ultimately we find that our days are over and we are dead the entire life spent in hustling without ever really reaching do you see this this that we are within that is hungry for satisfaction you could call as the ego or the mind or the consciousness these two are not exact synonyms of each other but for your purpose as beginners it suffices to take them as one huh? the ego the mind or the consciousness hmm? that's the hungry thing inside so whenever you say oh we are you know just a quark or panchbhut oh i am or i am just the soil that's not uh, really right to say because if you are just material then the material exists even after death does it not does the weight of a person change immediately upon dying the material exists even then surely there is something beyond the material that you are something beyond the material that looks through these material eyes the eyes are material but there is something beyond material within that is looking out through the eyes can pure material ever love can material cry can material deeply long for something so all right the body is material but then there is something within that is not material it is not material but it is heavily discontented it is unfulfilled and it wants fulfillment and it does not know how to get there so in its lack of knowledge what does it do it tries all kinds of material possible including narcotics drugs because they too are just objects substances no so you try even that say so maybe this will satisfy me maybe that will satisfy me money might satisfy me entertainment excitement drugs knowledge power sex sports whatever i mean you name it man has tried everything tourism wanderlust you get it it is extremely important to study that that which you really are a thirsty consciousness while walking in i was <coughs> discussing the honorable dean here that entire education system is focusing exclusively on objects hmm? we know so much about for example this mic we know not a thing about the consciousness that speaks to this mic we know about the eyes we have studied this piece of flesh brilliantly we know all about its anatomy we can cure most of its diseases and uh, we can also replace the retina for example and, and we have goggles we have specs you name it and we have extensions of eyes called massive telescopes that can look deep into the space as well those are just extensions of eyes so objectively we know so much but we do not know a thing about the one who looks out through the eyes tell me who is the one taking in information through the eyes who is the one do we know him not that he is male you know this is just a way of saying please tell me who is the one so eager to look out through the eyes 
that the eyes keep rolling continuously. <laughs> are the eyes ever stable? The eyes are looking this way, that way. What are the eyes really looking for? Our education system puts no emphasis on that. So the result is that we know a lot about the objective world, but we know very little about ourselves. Now, fortunately, or perhaps unfortunately, we are standing at a point where we have to fulfill our mental needs. And if those mental needs are not wisely fulfilled, then we'll go bonkers as we already are and there would be massive destruction that you are already witnessing in the form of climate change, biodiversity loss, mental disease epidemic and many other things.